You might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. I'm supposed to find answers in that? Hey, twice the scum and half the space. Hang on, we're going in. Hi everyone and welcome to Deus Ex Human Revolution Ghost Walkthrough. We are on Hengsha, the fictional city that is located in China that you just saw, the arrival. And we're going this is the only scene that you're going to see me walk towards the objective because I want to leave it in just so you can kinda get the vibe of the this is not actually an open world but it's like a hub world when you can actually go through different locations so like you're not gonna see the the loading times but it's separated by little loading times and this is the only part that you're going to see me walk towards the first objective because in the next uh, entire mission I'm going to jump around objectives and the clear uh, stealth or combat action scenes because there are a lot of side quests to do here and even if you're doing the main quest you have to like walk a lot through this whole uh, uh, city Heng Shua. and uh, so we're gonna just go to the roofs and we're gonna uh, enter the first area of stealth uh, by the top of it uh, I'm going to knock them both out and I think yeah you see that my my inventory is rather full of stuff that I don't really need but I'm going to use one of these bars here first time that you see me use an item just to have two energy uh, uh, bars to knock out these enemies so as you're going to see knocking out this first one doesn't alert the second one and there he goes so we're gonna hide the bodies so no one sees them we're gonna rob them of their money or whatever they had on them and we're gonna drop right into our mission uh, uh, part into our mission area So right there where, our, where all the other soldiers are, it will trigger a conversation right about now, yeah. So we have to drop right there and I want to I wanted to drop see we have to enter that second that door that I'm looking right now and in theory you have to go through all these uh, soldiers that are on the ground there. But I'm going to like jump here and I'm going to just uh, use my inventory and eat a uh, certain I item that gives you 150 bonus health so I can actually drop uh, the length of this uh, height as you can see here and survive and I actually make a noise when I drop but they didn't see me so now I'm going to just to evade this guy that's coming and I'm going to enter the area of the mission. We have to infiltrate the department and get some information. And that's the only thing that we're going to do. So right now. They are both giving giving me their packs. So there we go. If I hadn't if I hadn't or or you have not that item on your inventory that gives you more health. In this difficulty, that drop would have killed me, because even if I had 150 uh, health points, I ended up with 45. So as you can see, that that kill uh, in normal conditions, that uh, jump in normal conditions kills you. So here we are. We're gonna quick save it, and we're going to infiltrate the department. So Metal Gear Online released is already available for download uh, I've, I've been seeing a little gameplay on Twitch and it turns out to be rather I wouldn't say bad because I haven't played it myself and I don't want to like 
classify something if I haven't actually played it. I'm going to play it, but uh, as for now, I'm just having fun with this game, and I am about to start recording Uncharted Collection. So, like, I don't feel like playing Metal Gear Online. I don't really like online games, and I play them anyways sometimes because there's nothing more to play. But uh, yeah, it just looks like a Call of Duty or. I wouldn't say battlefield because it doesn't have really uh, vehicles to move around and do stuff. So I would say a Call of Duty because you have loadouts, you have your character, your customizable character, you have ranks, you level up, and yeah, it's a Call of Duty, a team deathmatch kind of stuff. It has nothing, nothing at all that I hope that it could have that was present in the Metal Gear Online that was released with uh, Metal Gear 4 a few years back. That, that was actually a lot of fun because it wasn't at all like a Call of Duty. You had to sneak in, not being seen by other uh, players. You have to. You had the option to either kill them surprisingly or just uh, sleep them or you, you know, use a rifle, tranquilize them. It was a stealth multiplayer game. It was not a, a shooter that you stack up kills and then you see who won. And I was hoping that, you know, be, coming from that game, that was kind of fun. I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say this, it was great because it wasn't, but it was certainly more fun than all the multiplayers nowadays are because that's what you get, team deathmatch, right? and loadouts and customizable characters and the same fucking levels over and over again and that's what I saw that's what I saw in the with, with the last uh, Metal Gear Online gameplay the exact same game that we have been playing like 10 fucking years like seriously now, what was what's the last real different multiplayer that you have seen what was the last multiplayer that you s you, you watch and you said whoa that looks fucking different that looks like nothing I ever seen before like what like name one fucking example like I, I will I, I would like to say something like Dark Souls when you could invade the single player of other uh, of other uh, players that were online and kind of have a PvP that was fun and different. And uh, by the way, it was invented in Demon Souls, uh, not Dark Souls, but uh, it carry over uh, over the whole Souls franchise, right? That was the last time that I saw something different. And uh, because if I s if I try to see some new FPS shooter like the the mediocre fucking bullshit that Cliffy B is doing, low break, low breakers, low enforcers. I don't even fucking know the name. <sighs> it's it's, less, it's the same fucking game like the, the one, the Titan game. That uh, you get into a Titan and then you could walk through walls. <sighs> oh my God, Jesus! It's, everyone is trying to imitate Call of Duty for some fucking reason that astounds me because I just don't want to play Call of Duty anymore uh, I mean I haven't played a game like Call of Duty in years since like Modern Warfare 1 I think that was the last time that I actually played a multiplayer and when I say play a multiplayer I say like played a few a few days until I got bored because I'm more of a battlefield player in, in any case Battlefield I play it a lot uh, when I have a clan and, and people that uh, I used to gather in my online and, and party uh, play with them that's where I will then I, that's where I when I was most active with Battlefield but even that d died out and I just don't give a fuck about Battlefield anymore and you're gonna see me almost make a mistake here because these guys not notices the body See? And I don't have the battery to stun him before he gives the alert. But luckily we are not in a situation where we, we 
we are we got to uh, this is not a sequence I, I mean this is not a main sequence where we fail the ghost bonus or not this is just more walking so again one one will once we left this building once we leave this building if I can even talk today I'm just going to be editing all the walking so it doesn't show anymore yeah, by the way at the end of this level you're going to see the most difficult uh, part that I had to do in this game that is leaving a situation where you are in an ambush full of soldiers with heavy machine guns and, 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 and other types of soldiers as well and you have to actually leave without them seeing you any of them if you plan to get the ghost bonus and I actually did but it cost me a lot of tries and when I say a lot I, just, I mean I mean it that were a lot of tries so that's right over the end of the video now we're gonna just walk over the next mission and I'm going to edit it see we have to enter the hive which is a nightclub and just looking for items mostly and we're going to enter it right over here not from the front door because I have a path uh, that is actually pretty safe I would say so there we go we are entering the club and yeah like I said I mean <sighs> multiplayer games are just not my thing in reality I always like uh, linear uh, single-player games I mean I, I don't even like that much of uh, open world games though I loved Witcher 3 I love that game and I still do because I plan to to play it on a new game plus in the future but uh, and play the expansions maybe I'm not really sure about the expansions just yet I haven't bought them but maybe and uh, yeah never had no was a fan of multiplayer games I mean at the, at the times of uh, Counter-Strike uh, I played a lot of Counter-Strike because it was the new thing uh, even before Counter-Strike was it before Counter-Strike? well I, I played a lot of Unreal Tournament when it came out and I was big on Unreal Tournament not b b being myself, I mean uh, I played a lot of Unreal Tournament and later I played uh, Quake 3 Arena that was really fun it was another totally uh, faster style of multiplayer gameplay that uh, Unreal Tournament, it was a lot faster and what am I forgetting? Uh, I think I ch yeah from there I just went through Counter Strike then nothing at all just single player I always play single player and then I went straight to the Demon Souls with that new uh, invasion uh, multiplayer that so many make so many games try to to do something similar and they don't ju they just don't get it and. Uh, well, I guess from software just got it two, two times only, by the way, just, you know, uh, Demon Souls and Dark Souls, because Dark Souls 2 and even Bloodborne was pretty boring, the invasions. So, I hope that changes with Dark Souls 3, though. So now we're moving to that uh, part that I talked to you guys about, that we're going to be ambushed and we ha we're going to have to escape. So we're going to enter this place, which has a loading screen, a transition, I'm going to quick save it here, and I'm going to, uh, after we talk to, that, to, to a guy that's staying in this sort of hotel, uh, we're going to have an ambush and uh, I'm going to have to escape the ambush without being seen because 
even though I'm going to knock out some guys with the stun uh, pistol and uh, with my own uh, punches, punching him, like I cannot be seen actually because this is a whole sequence. But first, we have to talk to a guy that is in the third floor, not here. Yeah, not here. I'm talking to myself in, in a recorded video, I, I guess. In the third floor. Yeah. And. Yeah, right about here. And I'm just checking for items that could be in other, in other places. See, here. Because I'm going to need items, guys. That's not a restriction. Not using items. That's not a real restriction. So now I guess we're going to talk to the guy. Finally. And we're going to trigger the ambush. So in this part you can actually, uh, I guess, uh, get a choice to give him a gun so he can defend himself and, and survive or don't give him anything and let him die. I'm going to give him the combat rifle because I just don't need it. And now we're going to have to escape. Now watch this. I'm going to go to the left here. There are two guys, hey? Two enemies. I'm going to stun the first one with the stun dart. And that was a miss. There we go. The standard has a little. Uh, it's for close combat, so if you are uh, a little far away from that guy, you're going to miss. There he goes, just a trip on the face, and he's down. I'm going to leave the bodies here because I cannot waste a lot of time. So I'm just checking for items. So now I think I'm going to grab a fire extinguisher because you're going to see me do something really weird and I'm going to explain it after I, after I do it. Because what I'm going to do basically is manipulate the physics and the AI of the enemies. So, But there is another guy here and the guys that are in this floor they have to be down, every single one of them, because if not they could see me. So I'm going to again stun this guy with a stun dart and I'm going to punch that guy. There we go. Oh, I guess I'm just choking him a little. There we go. You don't control the animations, by the way. The animations are automatic. So now I'm going to use the fire extinguisher. And watch this. I'm going to have three guys on the bottom floor. And I'm going to drop the fire extinguisher on them. But as soon as I drop the fire extinguisher on the air, I'm going to fall through. So when the fire extinguisher hits the ground, I hit the fire extinguisher. See those three guys over there? At the same time, this creates uh, like a fog. See? There we go. See, I made noise there, but they are stunned. So I actually didn't trigger an alarm. I stunned those three guys and I just skipped that entire sequence almost entirely so because now I have to keep escaping though the hotel by this way and I have to dodge some other parts but that jumping with the fire extinguisher is actually really really hard guys it can look easy here as always but it actually took me a lot of tries because there are so many ways to fuck up that, that falling on the, on the fire extinguisher it's like a pixel, pixel perfect uh, fall so now we're gonna enter uh, an air duct that is over here. If we can actually get past this, great, great. There we go. We still have a ways to go though. We have more enemies here. We have a turret that we don't want the turret to, to see us. So we're moving. Still moving through some kind of paths, I guess. Uh, we're going to have some mines in this part and I'm going to throw a box to set all the mines off because 
this is crazy. The mines are uh, really well put here. You can't really see. I just destroy all mines uh, which are proximity mines by throwing that crate. And the enemies are n not nearly close to that location, so I don't have a uh, like a danger to to create an alarm. So there are guys there that I'm going to begin moving to my uh, position when I enter this room and I'm going to just pass them like this and we're almost out guys we're going to be passing the last three guys that are coming right over here by the right I'm going to quick save it here because this is actually a difficult part they could have seen me here see and just I have to get here as close as I can there we go and these guys are heavy machine that guy is a heavy has a hay machine and it just kills you in like three seconds. Now I move quickly and we're out. We're out guys. So you're going to see the ghost bonus over there. That was really tough. That do doesn't look tough. But that folding with the fire extinguisher on top of everything is really really tough. Because if you don't fall with that fire extinguisher and stun those guys you have to get down the three floors of that hotel and the, uh, the three floors are full guys and it's practically impossible not to get seen I mean I'm sure it is possible but I'm just trying always to find ways to expedite the combat situations in a, in a manner that I'm still in stealth when I finish them so here I'm just see I just kind of lost but now we're going to run away and we're going to go the next episode we're going to go to the Thai Young Men Medical Facility it's, a, it's an entire building that we're going to have to infiltrate and it's going to be a really cool level so I'll see you then guys thank you for watching and take care Excuse me, do you know where the limb clinic is? Yes, that seacoast fear is in serious Excuse trouble, Eliza. Do you know and how it's to time for you to